Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jenna Renstrom. A group of concerned Siouxlanders are rallying behind a service they say is crucial for Iowa workers. The Labor Center Coalition has been formed to try to save the University of Iowa's Labor Center as budget cuts are prompting its closure. KCAU 9's Rebecca Pryor joins us in studio to explain what's happening. There's already strong local reaction to the labor center's closing. One local business owner telling me without it, the effects on the local workforce will be felt for a long time. It helped me kind of find my path as to what kind of work I wanted to do. Sioux City attorney Dennis McElwain is one of thousands of Iowans who benefit from the services provided by the University of Iowa's labor center. For a very low price, they provide a very high quality program that benefits people throughout the state. But after nearly 70 years, the University of Iowa is announcing they will be ending the program by next summer. The university's president blaming back-to-back -back budget cuts by the Iowa legislature, saying, quote, we're disappointed to be in this position because these centers and employees provide valuable outreach and services to Iowans. But those who utilize the program argue the cost of eliminating the labor center will be immeasurable. I just think it's a, it's a, a terrible service to the, to the workers here in the state of Iowa to close that labor center. Um, the education piece that they do for all workers is, is number one in the state. For years, Ernie Colt, president of the Western Iowa Labor Federation and a local business owner, has used the labor center to train his employees. Without it, he believes the workforce will suffer. I don't think that kind of training is going to be available that, that they've been getting from the University of Iowa. It's just not, not possible. There will be a public hearing on the Labor Center's closing in Sioux City. That's tomorrow from 6 to 8 in the evening at the Labor's International Union office at 3038 South Lakeport. Reporting in studio, Rebecca Pryor, KCAU 9 News.